Hey, hey, y'all. What this is do? your girl, Honey Foreign. This is your girl, R.E.B. You can follow me on Instagram at honey underscore foreign. You can follow me on Instagram, underscore R-E-B, and that's with two I's, A-R-I-I-B. And together we are Honey Bee Podcast. Podcast. What's We're up, back y'all? and better than ever. Okay. Did you miss us? I know. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll be dropping every Wednesday on Hank Nation, so make sure y'all stay tuned. Hit that link, subscribe for us, all of the above. We'll be airing every Wednesday. So what's up, Ari girl? I miss you. I love you. Oh my goodness! Like we done, we done Facetime here and there periodically, but you know we whatever. both were on a hiatus, grinding, trying to get back to what we love, Absolutely. and we're here, and we're excited about our new opportunity, guys. So you have to tune in for us, right? Shout out to Hank Nation for giving us this opportunity, or mm-hmm. else we would not be here rocking with y'all today. Here he is. But a little bit about myself. My name is Honey Foreign. I'm from Ann Arbor. An Arbor native, A A A A A. Um, I also have a clothing boutique called Crowned Underscore Birth Underscore. Uh, oh, I'm lying like a motherfucker. All right. <laughs> it's it's Crowned Underscore at Underscore Birth Boutique on Instagram. I also do acting. I also do some modeling, some promo modeling. You know, I'm a host. Um, I'm doing everything. So y'all hit me up, book with me. What about you, Ari? Oh, and I'm a brand ambassador. Like her. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I just want to take a second to say shopped with Crowned at Birth. I do myself the clothes fit. Amazing. Shipping is hella fast. You will not be disappointed. But, yeah, I'm your girl, Ari B. I, am, I do a lot of things. I'm brand ambassador. I'm, I'm dabbling in modeling. Um, I'm dabbling in hosting. But for the most part, I'm a non fiber you guys. I have a regular job. I'm a mortgage processor. Okay, job. Boring. Wah, wah, wah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> right. Wait. <laughs> no, that's not it. That was a laugh. It's y'all. still funny, though. <laughs> 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 that part. But yeah, nothing exciting about that. But I'm excited into excited for adventuring new things. Um, I love modeling. I love brand ambassador, and I love taking people's merchandise or whatever they're selling and getting it to our audience. Because I'm good at making you want things. So that's a passion Ow, of mine. That sounds <laughs> sexual. I'm good at <laughs> making me you too. want things. Ooh, Ooh, so. <laughs> How did we meet, Ari? Tell them how we met. Oh, my gosh. That is the <laughs> funnest story, you guys. It so, is. We, How we met. Me and Honey, we tried to date at one point. Uh, we were interested in each other and flirting. And it just, we both, life got in the way. Uh, we both had dudes. We just, we never went to that place. And we end up being friends. We and we also shared a lot of ideas with each other. This mm-hmm. is how we're, we're we're twinning now. We 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 see what we were meant for. This is a a divine friendship because we talked about so many things, like what we wanted to do in life, our beliefs, spiritual, all of these things. And she remembered that I I was very passionate in podcasting, so she actually reached out to me when she had an opportunity, which mm-hmm. is hella dope, baby. Shout Aww, out to you. Thank you. <laughs> you know how I roll. <laughs> She is her. prone oh. to, if she fucks with you, she will take you with her for the, yes. If you deserve it. If you a bullshitter, she ain't going to bullshit gonna her opportunity. Up. Fuck out. I'm going to cuss you out because mm-hmm. I don't play that. As um, you should. <laughs> I got, we got our my best friend here with me today, my love. This is one of Shout my other to soulmates. <laughs> hello, hello. Um, yeah, so we did we did do a podcast before. It was called Breaking It to the Table. You guys probably uh, recognize this as the lady edition to Breaking It to the Table. Um, but, yeah, so, you know, opportunities didn't go as planned. And um, me and Ari have always been on the same wavelength. So we mm-hmm. decided to take our energy elsewhere. But still, shout out to them. We hope they do well. Yeah, no bad blood. We, <laughs> we wish everyone involved best success. And we are on for, we're on to not better things, but what is meant for us. We, we are where we feel we need to be. We're vibing. And we're happy. Yeah. <laughs> and that's all that fucking matters. All that fucking matters. You know what I'm saying? Side note, honey, that was real good. Oh. <laughs> Okay, right on point, okay. right on target. As I'm always. feeling your class. I mean, your uh, shirt, your class. Okay, shirt. yes, y'all, because Clueless is my movie. 
Shout out to Stacey Dash before she was retarded. I about to say before she before she was <laughs> before she was retarded. I don't know, I don't know what's know. going on with Stacey Dash. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, so anything new for you? The kids going back to school, y'all. Of course. You know what I'm saying? My it, it's new for me, you guys. My son. We don't talk about us much, so that is what our show is geared towards today: getting to know your host personally. So I have. An 11-year-old who is going to middle school, you guys. Mm-hmm. It makes me feel like I'm old as shit. <laughs> but it's so new to me. I know you've, you've crossed this threshold. You have a kid who's in freaking high school. So oh my I feel like I'm going to hyperventilate on Tuesday when I have to drop him off. I'm not ready for I was- yeah, I was really sad about the high school uh, crossing over into the high school thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, but also, like, I, I'm a parent first, mm-hmm. but I'm all, me and my kids would really share a dope relationship, especially me and my oldest. Um, and yeah, y'all like these? I yeah, it was it was bittersweet for me, but I'm also like, yes, homecoming coming. You gonna be fresh? You gonna be fresh and fat? We about to do this. We about, we about to do about that. To do it and also, you taking me as your date, nigga? Cause what? And that part too is uh, it was already so many little girls all on him when he was in elementary school. So I can just and he's so laid back and just yeah, just shit like whatever. his mama <laughs> sometimes. sometimes, sometimes. Yeah, my son came home from eighth grade. Well, he's in eighth grade, and he's like, "Yeah, all the girls were staring at me." I'm like, "Uh, duh, you're my son. You look like you're your welcome. mama. <laughs> they gonna stare at you. You know what I'm saying?" Um, but it was really funny because embarking on the high school thing. I'm like, damn, I'm not there with you. Are you going to be able to find these classes? What's going on? You know, what's going on? And he came home. He like, mama, they done gave me naval science. You ever heard of that? Naval? Like, no, ma'am. Like, like right. Navy. <laughs> like <laughs> Navy. They gave him naval science. They, they, they put him in that class. He said when he walked in, the teacher had on a, a damn uniform. He was calling them cadets. He like, yeah, yes, if you this many like, minutes late, like, you got to do push-ups. If you this many, many minutes late, you got to do crunches. And he was like, mom. Not ROTC I was, with core yes, curriculum. Like, exactly what the what fuck? It was, like that. It, was like, it was like that. And he was like, I was in the back of the classroom like, oh, heck no. I'm like, okay, well, do you need me to sign papers? He said, I don't need you to sign nothing because... I'm not standing in this class. I was like, cause I'm not standing in this class, and I was like, well, you know, whatever. You ain't no naval man. You know what I'm saying? My son does identify as gay, you know, but he ain't one of them, you know, dress up playing my makeup types. Right. You know what I'm saying? He's very masculine and and manly, but you know, he got a nice little sense of style and Mm -hmm. stuff like that. That he does. He He be dressing. Okay. He like, I ain't doing no push-ups, bro. (laughs) Like that's not me. I'm going to do this Chris Brown is. dance. Y'all going to take that and like it. <laughs> all right? Period. But, Ari. Right. Yes, ma'am. So, let me ask you this. What you been doing since this new Delta virus been out? Hiding. You been hiding? I've right. been out here. That's why I ain't got no friends no more, child. I've been out I've here. I've been hiding. I've been in the parties, like, doing the windshield wiper just in case <laughs> the bitch sneeze and the motherfucker. But, you know, you, you be the one that's trying to, like, Ari, you gotta come out the house. Yes. Like I do. I gotta I gotta have more of a social life outside of working and my passions mm-hmm. and stuff like that and being a mom. I need to take more time for me. I just think mentally, um, as parents and as women, we get into a space where we work, 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 work. Maybe everybody, you know what I'm saying? But we get into this mental space where it's all work and no play and then you end That's up definitely de- me. Yeah, you end up depressed as fuck. Like, my life, what does it come to? Da, 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 da. So I'll be trying to get you up out of there because mentally, like, every day you wake up, you a parent, you you a, a co-worker, you a girlfriend, you a maid, husband, wife, you a cook, doctor, you a doctor, nurse, yeah, all of that. You, you all of that. But when do you get to just be you? And that's my thing. I'll be like, all right, everybody ate? Okay, house clean? Okay, everybody good? All right, fuck you all. I'm off the door. <laughs> and you know, you be talking to me, and you be like, what you doing? Cooking lunch? What you doing? Cooking dinner, washing clothes? Doing? She you be cook, like, y'all. girl. She cook, y'all. I'd be like, if y'all take these pizza rolls to get the fuck off. <laughs> That's me right there. Okay. <laughs> it ain't nothing wrong with that, but it, it, you know, because y'all know me personally, y'all know it's a reason behind why I cook so much because I'm a, I'm a mom who co-parents. I'm mm-hmm. divorced. So... 
I feel like when my kids are, because I have shared custody, so when my kids are with me, I go above and beyond. So I have to make sure they have those home-cooked meals, those handmade lunches, because I don't know, well, I do know, but I'm not, <laughs> what's being done on the other end has nothing to do with me. So I just right. make sure on my part, I go above and beyond. So Yes. I'm going to look in the camera when I say this. I also co-parent. I got three baby daddies. <laughs> one of which, one of which I am married to. But, um... All right, we ain't just baby mamas. We motherfuckers ex, but we just get the fuck on when it ain't for I us. I don't even be want people me? to know who my baby daddies is. They be like, I be like, who? Don't ask. Huh? That's such my bruh. Such, right. My bruh and them. I don't have one. Such and such is your baby daddy. I be like, who, who? I don't the know that fuck man. Kiki told Palmer. you? I don't know mm -hmm. that man. Kiki Palmer. If that man <laughs> walked past me before. down the street, I wouldn't, mm -hmm. I wouldn't know a thing. I be like, who the fuck told y'all? Who I is know. snitching out here? <laughs> Snitch just get stitches. The fuck? But, you know, for me... I have a household of five people, which everybody likes different shit. Mm -hmm. So going to the grocery store <laughs> gives me anxiety. Three different meals at once. Like, this one don't like I this used to do that. I used to do I that. I need to stop. Now I'm like, back in the day, we ate what the fuck was in front of us. It could have been crawling and we ate it. Okay, and if you didn't eat it, then motherfucker, you about to be hungry. You was going to be hungry. You was going to be hungry. You going to be hungry. Or you going to be sitting at that table for 30 to 45 minutes. And I done minutes. did that too. I done sat at the table till I fell asleep. And my mama Man. woke me up with a slap. Yep. Go ahead and get your ass in the motherfucking room. Put that shit in the microwave. When you get hungry, that's what the <laughs> fuck you going to be eating. When you get up, that's what you going to eat. Shout out to my mama for traumatizing me. Toxic, yes, and that's, let's a, get on that's that. the show for another. <laughs> no, let's get on it. Let's talk about it. But right now, you know, yeah, we're gonna talk about it right, right now, now because I really feel like my mom, hey, mom, love you. I feel my like shit's so he, toxic. My mama I, can't say, hey, mom, she can't view this shit because she ain't access the shit I'm on. Well, my mama can, and also, hey, girl, hey, um, I feel like there was a lot of toxic traits going on, you know what I'm saying, but I feel like. From us coming from a toxic background, we sometimes give our kids a little bit too much leeway from that. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Um, coming Me. from a toxic background with that sitting down and, and, and you got to eat your food, I'll be grown as fuck in a restaurant now. And I be full as hell, but my plate is still in front of me. So I'm like, I'm full. I don't even want no more. But I find myself still, still fucking eating, eating because I feel like and I about gotta clean 16, my plate. Yeah, sixteen love handles later, I'm like, why am I like this? You know what I'm saying? Yes. It's because that that's a traumatizing thing. Mm -hmm. Like my mama used to. You didn't have no word growing up. Like you ain't had no opinion. No, you couldn't talk what I back. said was what I said. How you felt, it. how you felt didn't matter. So now it's it's adult triggers in that shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, I'll be talking to somebody to cut me off. And you know me, I'll be like, uh, I wasn't done talking. Oh, my God. Yeah. Now I'm ready to fight you. <laughs> now you ready to fight. That's you for real. Don't yeah, cut you like, off. Don't you cut like, me um, off. Or too many people talking at once. You hate oh that my shit. God. You be like, oh, my God, it's so loud in here. It's so, <laughs> why are you so loud? <laughs> like, for real. Like. And it, and it's crazy. I I told my mom probably like a year ago. I called her on some humbug shit. I'm like, I just want to say you really fucked me up. That's it. I don't tell my mama that. Yeah. She don't give a fuck. That she gonna act like that shit is me. I'm no. I'm lot. the demon. Girl, it took a lot of, right. It took a lot of space. She like miles away, so I could talk my <laughs> shit. She wasn't gonna pull up. She you know she worked like she still got kids. Cause I would never. I got some things I want to say to mine. <laughs> Girl, say that <sighs> shit. Because as, as individuals, self-expression is so important. Yeah, also I feel like that, but I'm still, yeah, I'm still working on that with her. You Everybody still got the else. pink tails and the barrettes in your head. With you her, like, yeah, only with her, though. Mm -hmm. only yeah, well, her mama is different. Her, she got a good mama, but she, you know everybody got their ways, though. Out of toxic mamas, I would say her mama ain't it. I love her. No, oh, like, I mama. wouldn't call her toxic. No. She just. Crazy. I'd be like. Where's your thought process on this? <laughs> <laughs> Where you, what's going on? Where Let's going touch on the grandmamas who ain't grandmamas. Ain't yeah, who got to get mama paid for babysitting? Who don't babysit at all? Who they want to? Mm. Mama got to have a life too. How we long was just talking do about you gotta me. have a life, man? Well, <laughs> damn. Can well, I live my twenty and thirty year old life? No? I would say mm -mm. fifty nine years <laughs> and going. <laughs> I would say 59 years of going that mama got to have a life because my mama really shit. I'd be like, I need a babysitter. She'd be like, bitch, oh. Shit. Mine. <laughs> As of recently, my mama need a babysitter too. If I need a babysitter, shit, she got an underage kid too. You about to babysit mine and that's what 
My best friend know that. My my little brother was like my son. How old is your little brother? He just turned 18. Oh, uh, okay. He, yeah, my, my little brother is... Shout out to him. He just turned 25. Shout out to my brother, too, with his... August 25th, and he is socially awkward as fuck. My little brother ain't, and that's what's wrong with him. He think he here, huh? He think he... I would like Nipsey that. Nipsey Hustle. I would like, like that. Like, he think he a rapper, a producer. He think he that nigga, bro. I would like, like you that. You can't tell this little boy shit, and that's what we be getting me. We that's because he a Leo man. Yeah, as a oh like, boss. Only the last like what two years? I can't even say that because we just was about to square up at my house maybe four or five months ago. Because he got like oh, when he yeah. grows up, he ain't gonna be like that no more. I bet he not. He gonna <laughs> no. He gonna be good to. I would like he gonna that, take though. care of his people though. He just hard headed, especially my you. little brother hard headed, and I love especially you. <laughs> so the thing about it is, I would love that. You know what I'm saying? You got to think about the people who have socially awkward siblings mm -hmm. who, you know what I'm saying? Not trying to put my people down, but my brother don't fuck with nobody. He ain't never had a friend. He ain't never went to a sleepover. You know, he hit 18. I'm like, yo, you want to go to the club? He like, no, thank you. <laughs> I'm like, okay, like, I'm trying to figure out what your sexuality is. You hit 20. I'm like, let's go to the strip club. What the wants on these bitches? He like, no, thank you. How old like, is he? 25. No. Yeah. yeah. Like, what the fuck is going on? But maybe. It, he giving me very much doofy from Scary Movie. Like, I told you not to interrupt me when I'm cleaning my room. But you know what Doofy turned out to be at the end of that motherfucking yeah, movie, Yeah, Doofy was fine as hell, but he was, he he was, was a killer. Smooth, nigga. But he was a killer. He was a smooth he was killer. A killer. He was a, ki he he was was a, a fucking killer. killer. And my brother's name is smooth Michael. Criminal. My Michael. brother, yeah, Michael. <laughs> I be like, mama, you got to get him up at that room because I seen all the Halloweens, bitch. <laughs> He ain't never go for the mama. He always he was kill killing animals. the sister. Or, he used to kill animals. That's a, that's a trait. Too. Yeah, that... Fuck the animals. What about me? But that's the that's the. Why you being animals? weird to me? <laughs> Why you being weird? <laughs> <laughs> like for real. Like I'm like bitch. You you unbothered a little bit too much. Michael came for his siblings. He came for the sisters. Like yeah, he. Was good. And he got two of them hoes. Mm hmm. Me being one of them. It could just be something simple. Girl, yes, that a therapist needs to handle. <laughs> Go ahead and uh, try to get that on out. <laughs> but uh, also, I feel like dealing with toxic relationships, or, well, with a toxic parent and or mother, can result in accepting a lot of toxic relationships. Ab oh, no, so that's true. Again, that's Absolutely. Fact. Parents, period, mothers and fathers, it, it sets you Both up fun. to deal with shit. That you wouldn't normally deal with if you know known better. Right. And since we can talk about this stuff, I mean, we've already touched base on this mm -hmm. on another platform. But since none of our shit dropped. <laughs> I guess we can talk about it, it now. Because I got the video footage. So <laughs> Don't it's drop going... it. Don't drop it. I can't blur out the shit in the background. Nah, fuck just... that, sis. What about our audio, though? Fuck that, okay. sis. We start okay, brand we'll do, new. I about we... say, we'll just do the shit over. Yeah, so, speaking of toxic relationships and coming from toxic parents. Yes. How how have you yourself been toxic? I'm toxic. Because it's, it's about looking at self, right? Absolutely. And as of recently, I've been on a big journey for accountability of self. Mm -hmm. I'm toxic in a few ways. I, the people that I love, I put way too much on their shoulders because I don't have a family base. So okay. the people who I That's choose real. and pick to be my family, I put a lot of weight on them. Mm -hmm. You got to answer my call. You got to be there for me. Or if I feel like you don't love me. Every Everything you do that wasn't in my thought process of being there for me, now I'm questioning if you even love me or not. Mm -hmm. That's toxic. Why yeah. Don't nobody got to live by my standards and prove, jump through hoops to say they love me. That's toxic as hell. Mm -hmm. Another toxic trait. I was, at one point, very violent. <laughs> <laughs> I was very, but I will put my hands on you. If you say, like, I got trigger points. Mm. I'm real cool. Like, we can argue, and I can be going back and forth with you. Call me stupid, though. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was definitely one. I'm going yeah. in your shit. Or say anything to reference insulting my intelligence. We got a problem. <laughs> so did you feel like growing up you had to, like, defend your intelligence? I had to defend 
my existence, my Everything. intelligence, my existence, my all And that. that's just one of the major triggers. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm defend and that, that another toxic trait. I'm defensive with everything. If you disagree with me, I'm I'm defense mode. You you attacking me if you going against what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what are we doing to fix it before I get into my shit? <laughs> I was just about to ask you, but, but yeah, what I'm doing to fix it is I'm I'm learning how to remove myself from the like I just had a conversation with my best friend earlier about a, a homegirl of mine trying to see where where I was wrong in a situation, even though. Most of it was like 70, 80 percent her, maybe 20 percent me. So I'm what I've been wrong. I'm tr- um, but I, it just you don't can't, add you up. You can't choose how it people react. Not add. It don't it add don't up, but you got to choose up. how you react to things. Okay, I can't battle. I can't get mad at her because she's mad at me. She felt like yes, I did the- something to her, even though I'm like, bro. OK, so I. I I'm going I'm, I'm to just say it without sounding crazy. We had a disagreement because she lied to me about something, and I caught her on her lie. Like, why, bitch, why you lying to me? Right. And she like, you be, I'm being messy. Regardless. Like, it was her birthday. I just feel like it wasn't that deep. She could have just, I don't know. She just didn't want to accept the fact that she had told that. But little, I felt like her, her point lie. was her time and, the time and place. She was about to go out. She was feeling good. It was her birthday. And, and you I, weren't included. I, I was included until that happened. Like, we, we had some words, and then I didn't hear for, from her for the rest of the day because I caught her on said lie. And this your friend? It is. No, it ain't. I t- didn't I tell y'all? No, it ain't. Say, I'm like my best friend and my twin. Because they go, let, they go, me, let me just I tell, tell you. Say the same shit? Mm-hmm. Let me tell you what I've learned <laughs> mm-hmm. about people and individuals. You can have your toxic trait, but you being my friend means you love me in all seasons, ma'am. Mm-hmm. All if, of them. Right. If you lied, take accountability lie. for that fucking lie and tell me That's why the fuck you, you lied. Yes, and, it's, you and, and I always tell my kids, I always tell people that I rock with, like, the situation does not matter. It's how you bounce back from that situation. Mm-hmm. So how you was able to go or you was uh, invited to the party mm-hmm. or whatever and then you didn't hear from her after that. Mm-hmm. Bitch, you show me your loyalty. I don't give a fuck what we going and through. This is my motherfucking too. birthday. Where I you at, like, bitch? We'll talk about it after we'll we get drunk. We'll talk about it later. And I can cry you on your shoulder. Me, like, you can hold my hair while I'm, right I'm throwing up in the nerves. bathroom. And that's it. Like, <laughs> you got to bounce back. You gotta. It's all about how you bounce back from shit. You know what I'm saying? If I... Can't you call you a stupid hoe, that. and you can't call me a stupid bitch, and then the next day be like, "Hey, girl, what you doing?" What well, we need really need to talk about that because I'm you made me feel agree. away. You know what I'm saying? Okay, well, you made me feel away too. Why I make you feel away? All right, well, even though I don't agree with how you feeling, that don't mean your feelings not valid. And I, I don't, I don't ever want to invalidate anybody's feelings. So um, I was looking at it from the point of. She just wasn't trying to hear that right then. And I brought it to her, and it was mad. Because it's more to it than that. Mm. Like, I sit down and tell you the story outside of this, you know, I will. But mm-hmm. it's more to it than that. I felt like she genuinely was like, why are you doing this today? And it was like, why did you lie today? It was such a dumbass lie. And well, and then was I it on her birthday? Yeah, it was on her birthday. Oh, well, girl, would you rather me just not uh, tell you shit <laughs> and feel away? You know what I'm saying? And that's all I was saying. Like, if you feel away towards me... Then just say that. If you feel like, bitch, comp, like, I don't want to go back and forth with you about what I did and didn't lie about on my birthday. We can talk about this later. Yeah, right. I lied. Move on. And then. You Since not, what like, was the lie? Since what was the lie? Come that, on, best friend. What was the lie? <laughs> that she was. That she wasn't talking to somebody and I was shown the messages. And it was it's not like that. It's somebody she's completely entitled little. to talk to. It was, it was very, very it was very dumb. Oh, so if you're gonna lie to me about some stupid some petty shit, shit, what else would you lie Don't about? Also, lies. you're I not my that. friend. We, she was just talking about fighting. I'd be ready to fight somebody over a lie. Don't like Because it. why? We all grown as fuck. Was, if you don't feel like doing like, it, you just don't feel like doing it. And that's doing why it. I felt the need to and I'm working on that too. I feel the need to Say something all the time or call somebody on there, but like I don't always have to say something. Like I could have just let that shit ride. You don't always have to react. Yeah, I don't always have to react. I could have just let yeah, her. Yeah, could have been a mental shit. note. Mm-hmm. It like, could have been like, all right, okay. bitch, you a liar. Yeah, you know that. right. I right. could have just did that. And her whole. But being that, but I think she being was so that that's your was, friend, you said something. You said something because yeah. that's your friend, and, and you're supposed like to check that. Feel like she shouldn't have reacted the way that she did. Okay, I'm. Be, okay. 
<laughs> no, best friend, come through. Come through the window. We left it open. <laughs> because for real, like... Ari, I don't give a fuck if it is my birthday. I'm going to take two. If if, I, if our friendship means something to me, mm-hmm. I don't know how y'all feel, but I'm going to take a, at least two, ten she seconds to talk about it. Because I reached out like, are you good? Like, did that shit upset you like that? And she ain't say shit. I was like. Did her bubble drop? Did it say she left you on red? Cause she no, me? her re-receipts is off. Hey, so it just said no. She thought she be ready as fuck to um, forgive a nigga. So, um, okay, to, let's you know talk about saying. it. Mm-hmm. Let's know. talk about it. Yeah, so he with Bonquisha in the back of the Walmart Super Center, busting it down. You don't call him. He supposed to be so getting you, the kids from know. daycare, and you can forgive him, but you can't forgive me for calling you out on your shit. Oh, so you can. You know what I'm saying? And I bet you she ain't mad at the person who was showing me the, the messages that she, they was actually talking other than me. Like I bet you she mad at me, but she ain't mad at the person who I got the messages from. The nigga. <laughs> well, what you want to beat her up? No, I love like that's my. You friend. love her. I she do. really okay, love her. Okay, fine. Real. She really love her for real. Okay, oh, fine. I, I would have been on the same tip. Trust me. Okay, because me, me and best friend is here, y'all. Uh, I, and that's what best friend is in the be. audience. Me and best friend is here because we like. Okay, well, the bitch said what? Okay, well, what you do, do you want to put a Snickers in her in this bitch gas tank or not? Whatever you want to do. I feel like uh, she gonna come around. She just mad and she don't like confrontation, so she can't yes. tell me she mad. But Ari, and she she can be mad at me. Y'all, I'm really spiritual, so I believe in um, healthy boundaries and too, that's and protecting and protecting your energy. And as much as you love a person, I can love you I from really over feel, there. You can love them from over there, but I also feel like how how you feel or the things that the person does to you. You know what I'm saying? You mm-hmm. have to know for self. Like you could, your love could be different from the love that she's giving to you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is though, and that's and, and that's one side, and that's why so that's I'm healthy. getting so irritated because now it's a recurring pro- like it's a longer story than this. Now it's a recurring thing with this type of shit. But you allow her access to you, and Ooh, honey, and that's and that's not what you, deep right yeah. <laughs> like you can't allow you if it's one sided and you pouring and pouring and pouring. You, this is your cup. Of tequila. I get tired eventually. My best friend. Can I see your cup of tequila? I'll let you keep. I can. I just filled it back up too. Girl, you lying. She ain't been drinking that oil. I did just. Uh, You ain't just see me fill it back up. No, I didn't because I'm too busy listening to this bullshit about this girl. No. Oh, hey, be quiet. Work the caputa. Um. So this is her cup, and this is your cup. Mine, which is empty, y'all. I'm gonna drink her my bed. Oh my goodness. So you're doing this. She's overfilling. Mm-hmm. It's leaking out. Then when you get done, sis, you depleted. Yeah, uh, you gotta stop dealing with people that leave you feeling like this. You know what know. I'm saying? And it's a, it's a lesson though. I'm still eventually. learning it too. Yeah, I get tired of it. I do. I do but have we, a cutoff point. Yeah. You, when you get on my nerves, yeah, enough, after you've been like, beaten, abused, and stomped, it is. But after that, she can tell you you don't exist to me no more. After you you reach that low with me, it's like you, I never loved you at all. Yeah, that's how I am. But we ain't gonna make this about you with your best friend situation. You know, I don't like your, her. But oh we, ain't gonna make, we ain't gonna so make honey, it about that. Yes, look, my toxic trait. Yes, your toxic trait. I I I used to have a. Uh, I'm going to talk about what used to because I've been doing a lot of shadow work, y'all. For, Me too. For people who don't know what shadow work is, that's basically when you sit with yourself, you know what I'm saying, and you come to terms with those ugly sides and parts of you that are that you feel or deem less loving about yourself. Um, and you sit down with them motherfuckers and you basically have tea. Like, okay, well, why are we why bitchy? Are you, right. why, why are you this way? Why are we this you? way, you know? And, and, and a lot of the issues come from... In her childhood and dealing with you with, with, with what you dealt with when you were younger, but um, yeah, was I so was nice. I was violent. Um, I do remember being younger. My mom was in a lot of abusive relationships, so I watched my mom. You know what I'm saying? Go through that, and I remember my auntie told me that I was like nine years old when I was at my grandma's house, and I was like. Ain't no man gonna put his hands on me. I'm gonna be beating my man. At nine years old, y'all. I had already had that in your head. Had already had it in my head that I was gonna be in a toxic relationship and I was gonna have to put my hands on a motherfucker. That's deep. That's crazy, isn't it? 
Nine years old. You no, ain't thinking about a white way. picket fence. Crazy. You ain't thinking about white picket fence. You ain't thinking about Prince Charming. No, you let your was... weave down. He climbing up that motherfucker. That you thinking me. about going upside the motherfucker head? Just you but know. You know what? Before I they the go up, thinking yours. about the white picket fence and Prince Charming, and that's what I was thinking about. Because mm-hmm. you you was brought up from love and not survival. I was. Right? I was. Yeah. So. <laughs> but not that I'm older. Okay, that's a different story. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I I grew kind of violent, like, and it wasn't like, oh yeah, I think I can beat a man. Like I literally, like, y'all, I will black out. You know what I'm saying? But it's when those triggers were hit, mm-hmm. like I couldn't talk. You not letting me leave. I'm trying to walk out the house or the room, and you you like, no, we're gonna yeah. talk about this. Now I feel like you kidnapping me, sir. <laughs> Michigan is the number one sex trip. Look, let me. Michigan is the number one state for sex trafficking. I don't like that either, though. I don't like those. You know, I just want y'all to know. Make sure y'all fill y'all wife's and girlfriend's gas tank up so they don't be going to the motherfucking gas station by themselves at night. Make sure. They will kidnap your bitch. And let me tell you, it's a market for everybody. So if your bitch is 300 pounds, there's somebody out there that like 300 pound bitches. Exactly. And she gonna come up missing, and it's gonna take sixteen motherfuckers to put her in a car. But, but they, they gonna, gonna do that her. shit, okay? All right. That was a public service announcement. Back to my original point. <laughs> yes. So, shadow work. Right. Shadow work. Shadow work is a thing. So, if you're trying to kidnap me or box me in, and I'm angry, mm-hmm. and you're not letting me out of a room. Oh, man. Oh, we fighting. No, sir, let me go. Oh, we fighting. There was one point where I had to pick the butcher knife or the ice cream scooper. And watching Snap and seeing how these bitches got caught, looking at my circumstances, I'm like, fuck it, let me just grab the ice cream scooper. Damn. My son woke up the next day like, where the ice cream scooper go? Uh, you asking the wrong questions. You worry about the wrong thing. It's the morning time. We ain't supposed to be looking for no ice cream scooper anyway. <laughs> fuck around with you. <laughs> I saw that motherfucker was broke over top of somebody's head. So, I've learned to meditate and breathe and know that, you know, sometimes a motherfucker might really want to talk to you. Like, let's really let's work, work this shit out. out. And you too upset to even. I'm too upset. I got to process shit, y'all. Mm-hmm. I got to get in the car. I got to drive. I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. Let me just drive around the block, collect my thoughts so I don't say some shit that I got to say sorry for tomorrow. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Let me just mellow out because some of the times I have to sit with self and be like, okay, bitch, you being petty. You being outrageous right now. All like, right. yeah. See, I'm able to admit when I'm wrong or being petty or any of that. But Girl, take I a process from me. Want to be petty. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. me too. Like, I be, I I be admit, seeing myself. That ain't the problem. Baby, for me. Like, I can admit I don't anything. Give a fuck, though. I, I just still want to do it. I just don't give a fuck. I'm See, do but it. I done came up out of that. Y'all, I done had some petty moments. I done gave all of my baby daddy clothes to the maintenance man. <laughs> That's funny. He, he had to walk around. <laughs> but he was he was so quiet and I'm calm. Mad I didn't think about it first. <laughs> he was so quiet and calm. You know what I'm saying? That he didn't even want to tell the nigga, like, you got all my shit. Nigga. Like, I done been so toxic. Nigga, oh, you materialistic? Oh, them ugly-ass Prada boots that look like boxing shoes? I'm finna take this permanent marker and write a whole fucking funky-ass check sign on it and put just do it on the other one. Because <laughs> who finna be stunned fucking with me? You you got me fucked up. You got oh me fucked gosh. up. So, one toxic trait was me being violent. Another time of people shit. It's a t- <laughs> oh yeah, I, I, gr- I, I grew though. I don't touch nobody else's shit because I too much. because my baby daddy's thing was that bitch crazy. And although I am, I don't oh, want you to be are, telling. We are gonna be crazy. We are gonna be crazy. But I don't want you telling like when you touch that shit. Like let me tell you, I apologize, baby daddy, for taking a hammer to all of your windows in that cherry red F one fifty. But you had me fucked up. Damn. I made that bitch a convertible. Okay? I went Bob the Builder on that motherfucking shit. <laughs> See, I tried, the, the one time I tried to fuck up my uh, my baby daddy car, I got caught. Tried. And I'm all, yeah, you I was, just, no, I, 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 bitch, I got the band, was on my way to bust the windows out that motherfucking Mustang. 
and he threw me over his shoulder. Like, he caught me. Like, in the uh, that bitch. Island, being it, fun size sucks. I feel I away. I feel away that I never got to experience that because I never touched my baby daddy shit for real. Oh, like, girl, I was fucking shit up. Listen, um, a disclaimer. I only was up. fucking <laughs> shit up <laughs> because if it comes She's down not. to my shit kids, to where I'm calling you and I'm like, yo, baby need this, baby need that, and you ignoring me, and you're my only means of getting that, oh, we got a problem. Mm. Oh, you forgot I was crazy. <laughs> okay. Well, let's play. I'm like Saw. Are you ready to play a game? So how did you get out of those ways? Okay. So how I got out of those ways is I stopped dealing with ain't shit niggas. That's the that's the best thing <laughs> you can do. Listen, and sometimes it's hard, but yeah, I get it. Yeah, I, I got out of shit niggas. Gotta I, I stopped dealing with it. Like we were talking about red flags and yellow flags at the mm-hmm. time. I started recognizing that. And I'm still not good at it, y'all. I'm still a work in progress. You know what I'm saying? Because when you deal with the worst... You might get with somebody who's not bad. all that bad, yeah, but, but still, still bad. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But you're not used to that. So you're just like, okay, well, you don't clean up. so, mm, But you ain't cheating on me with other bitches. So I'm going to just go with your nasty ass and we just going to be hoarders. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. self-worth is so and they make it important. Seem like because you want a nigga that don't cheat and clean up after himself, you're asking for it's so much. much now. Like, yeah. Okay. You just asked a nigga to paint the White House pink in translation. Like, no, I just asked you to do the dishes. I'm confused. All I'm saying is help out. That's all I'm saying. It's supposed to be a team effort. They be going they dick suck. If you see that I'm too tired, that's when you really should help me. Because if you help me when I'm too tired, let me tell you, I ain't sucking no dick if I'm unhappy. And you ain't getting none either. Not getting none. If we if we pass due on any motherfucking bill, I got nothing for you. If if the laundry is powdered, if I don't worked all of motherfucking day and I come home and I gotta do this and do that, nigga. I'm not horny. No, I'm exhausted, bitch. I'm I'm <laughs> tired. I am tired. You talking about some oh that ass look fat? I bet the I bet fucking the fucking do because you ain't did shit all day. Good what for you. Hell? I'm glad your eyes work. Okay, it's tired. Though. But you know what is <laughs> what it's about, and I'm not trying to like mail bash because me and Ari. We yeah, advocates we, for we advocates we for you advocate. niggas. Y'all gotta do better for the for the kings and gods out here. We, yes. we got y'all back. Yeah, not nah, niggas. Y'all I said niggas. We don't fuck with you niggas. Yeah, mm-hmm. but we fuck with you young like black niggas. kings or old black kings in June's case. <laughs> okay, <laughs> got you, June. I ain't gonna leave you out. You know what I'm Pay saying? Pay for your haircut and feed you. That's a king. I'm gonna yeah. tell y'all some real <laughs> shit about women, okay? And they might they ain't gonna be mad. They're gonna be like, "Yes, sis, please preach." If we got to come home, if we got to work all day, we got to come home and pick up after you. The kids. Do shit that you didn't get to do while you were at home with the kids. Or even if you Figure weren't at home with the kids. You know what I'm saying? And we got to, the oh, what's for, oh, I'm, as soon as you walk Figure in the door, I'm dinner. hungry. And, oh, laundry ain't done. And your shit and is on you the floor. Some ass on top how of, like, are I you, can't even think straight. how are you different from a child? How are you different from a child? Do you think that we going to be pedophiles and we going to want to fuck with y'all? Exactly. If we feel like y'all equal to a child? No, we not. We not going to be horny. Ain't nothing no. going to be wet. Ain't nothing wet. Ain't nothing going to be wet about Kitty. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? Kitty don't purr. What y'all over there talking about? Oh. Uh, <laughs> he looks so serious. All right. You just said serious. get back to your show, bitch. Right. That's what you looking like. Mind <laughs> your business. <laughs> That's what that look was. Best friend, do you need a refill? I do. I, I mean, her cup looking real empty. I'm Thank the only you. Want to refill, empty. y'all? Can, and I, I'm the one who said I wasn't going to drink. Thank you. Yeah, she was trying to be all responsible, y'all. She gonna pull up. I'm like, you got what you got on the bottle? She like, I mean, we gotta drive it out. I'm like, uh, you talking responsible shit? I ain't trying to hear y'all. It. She walked the fuck away from me like, bitch, I bye. Did. <laughs> I did. Like, okay, bye. I did. Um, and then another toxic trait that I think that I have. Is I mean I done did so much work. I can only talk about the toxic like tricks that I no did more. have. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Now I it's a lot of females out here. Y'all don't tell dudes how y'all feel, but y'all expect them to be mind readers. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. 
you y'all can't, just have an attitude and expect the man to figure it out and y'all been dating you a wanna, month and a half. You, you, right. You I don't know you. Tell me what the Even fuck to do. Even if you've been together for years. Like, if you're not saying anything, they're not going to get it. You in there slamming the motherfucking cabinets and da 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 Mm-hmm. Why are you angry? And it's sorry to say, men are not that y'all simple, like stupid. Y'all simple isn't like y'all need shit to explain to y'all or told to y'all. Or Excuse I think me, every, ladies, yes, I need one of those red bulls right there. Okay, I need the bottle back, girl. Okay, best friend, <laughs> best friend. What we doing? Mm-hmm. Um, oh. Was it was all her ass, y'all. I don't know if y'all heard the chair, the yeah, ass knock my, over the chair. Y'all, my best friend dragging away, and I'm the, in the street. Oh, the the ass, y'all. Show him the ass, best friend, because it was like I knock all this shit over. I knock all, look, see, did y'all see? I knock all this shit over right the fuck now. That's what her ass said when she was getting up. Oh, they got an ass on her. But I'm glad we both been doing our shadow, like, working on us. Like, y'all, we ain't just. Oh, wait, I got to finish my message to the bitches. I mean, women. <laughs> I ain't going to call y'all the B word. I'm going to call y'all un. I'm going to call y'all bitches because we rock, right? Okay, bitch. Stop thinking that man's supposed to uh, guess what the fuck is wrong with you. You talking about some odd oh, little ass boy, but if you ain't talking about. What the feel? What the fuck you feel, or how you want things done? You should not be thinking that nigga's gonna interpret, interpret you slamming, uh, fucking cabinets, having a fucking attitude, or not talking to him, or you know doing little shit. Then he asks you what's wrong, you be like nothing, bitch. Nothing. Obviously, it's something fucking right. wrong. Tell that man what the fuck is wrong with you. I can agree with you, cause. Yeah, I can't hold it in. No more. I about to say being be tired of me because I don't shut the fuck up. I'm always I'm be like I got an attitude, cuz right. I, I just know. think it's funny. How I don't want to hear that shit for real, day. but I'm gonna still tell you. Yeah, but at the end of the day, how can you get mad at a person and walk away from a situation when you didn't give a nigga the blueprint and you had all of the power to give a nigga the blueprint? It. I get upset when I come home and the dishes ain't done and I've been at work all day, babe. Give these nick tell these niggas what's going mm-hmm. on with y'all. Because at the end of the day, when you walk away, you're gonna be like, damn, I tried to do everything. I, I told and you how like, I felt. I told you where I was standing, and you chose to not do anything about it. But you so can't now say that I if gotta bounce. Do that. You can't say it. And that's what that's why marriage, like divorce rate, is oh, high Lord. as fuck now, because don't nobody try before they walk away. And no. that's coming from somebody who <laughs> Right. <laughs> I'm gonna try. tell her, I'm gonna tell a motherfucker, hey, pay attention to this. Uh, can you do this? Um, I really need you to do this. I feel by myself right here. You know what I'm saying? So after I've given you the four things that I'm feeling away about, and you don't choose to correct that, and guess what? It's vice versa, man. Tell your your women or your women spouses what the fuck you need because how you feel <laughs> right. How you feel and what Let's the fuck there. you need because. But you know what? Society puts this stipulation on men where they have to be tough all the fucking time yeah. so that they can't connect with their emotions. emotions. Yeah. Connecting with your emotions makes you soft. That's not that's not facts. You know what I'm saying? That is I don't not even facts like at all. Men that show me emotional like unattachment. Like I need to see that. Like I need you to right. express that. I can't teach me how it to don't make you love an you. emotional nigga yeah. if you know how to convey emotions. That don't mean I want you crying don't in be the too corner. Soft. Right. That don't mean I want you crying in the corner. We watching Frozen you and you crying because Elsa can't find her sister. Don't be too soft. <laughs> I'm going to do the crying. You do, you, you do the, the patting. She, she say. I'm, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Society is really hard on black men. It is. Way too hard. Y'all got to y'all gotta wear the weight of the world Society. on y'all shoulders. Society is too hard on black men, and black men are too hard on black women. So it's a fucking vicious cycle. Yeah. But it's, it's systematic. Systematic as fuck. It's systematic. Back in the slavery days, they took the black men out the house. They de mm-hmm. What What do you say? de uh, Is that a word? It is today. <laughs> you know, they it's did, word they, they did everything it. to prove in front of that the in woman front of don't the, need the man in, in the front of in front of the in front of the black woman mm-hmm. they did everything to make the man seem demasculine mm-hmm. yeah you know demasculate. what i'm saying 
Yep. They, they say, took, oh, they took him out the home. Like we we gonna, oh, we'll give you these food stamps if he ain't in the house. They want him no, I'm talking about slavery. Oh, that too. They Speak take that. He working in the field. Mm -hmm. Master, you know what I'm saying? Raping the wife. Now you got to look at a baby that ain't even fucking yours. Now you got... And you can't deal, you know what I'm saying? You can't deal, <laughs> yeah, you can't deal with it, you know what I'm saying? And then, fast forward. Now you're talking about putting the black man in prison, taking the black man out the home, and still one on a day. Then the woman, she got to get on welfare, and food stamps, like you said. Then the black man get out, he can't get no damn job, because now he got a felony for doing shit like having a $10 bag of weed. And I hate that statement. Do you know it's more black men in college than it is in jail? Like... Statistically, I I'm hate not that, saying like, that it's like a whole bunch of black men, and I'm just saying that no, I'm just saying systematically, like how that's out there like that. Yeah, that's how it that. how mm -hmm. it works because they don't talk about that. Fun fact. Fun fact. Can we get that? What is that? No, nope. we gotta the learn these. We gotta learn these buttons. Hold on. Stop pushing buttons. Nope. <laughs> she just gonna push the buttons. <laughs> <laughs> I quit. <laughs> I fucking quit. I feel like you should keep it. The hand clap is that was funny. This the hand clap. Okay, so say it again, Ari. Say it. Say it about black men in jail. Oh, oh yeah. Go ahead. Statistically speaking, it is more black men in college currently than it is black men incarcerated. Message. Oh, and it's still the wrong one. We still did it. That's the right one because we both some dumbasses. But, yeah, so it's so a anyway. systematic thing. You know, okay, we put the black men in jail. Then the white woman go down to the, I mean, white woman. The fuck? I'm thinking about that white girl that hit my car. Ma'am. Uh, <laughs> you want to go beat her up? Yes. We can do Can that. we find Karen? Because Karen got it. I thought y'all white people had Karen? insurance. She hmm. got in the car and sped the fuck off. I said, God damn, Karen. You got something to pay for. But, um, yeah, so take the black men out the house. The black woman feel like she got to go food stamps, welfare. Then when she get out, she no longer has respect for that black man. Mm -hmm. I could do it by myself. But, and they, but sis, they make you think seven hundred dollars of food stamps is not for 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 three kids in. ain't gonna work. The man can bring in so much more than that, like especially if y'all working together. But. but he can't because guess what? They done put him in jail for a little bag of weed. And now he got a felony. And now but he can't Bobby get no job. For, but and Lil now, Bobby murdered four of his classmates and he get out in four years. Oh, that ain't even on the news. <laughs> that ain't even on the news. <laughs> we ain't gonna get into Let's that talk, No, we're not going to get into how white people don't really raise their kids, but raise their kids to be serial killers. Not all white people. Some of y'all is really cool. Some of y'all is really cool. Like, I, I grew up with, I had, like, a lot of white best friends, and they was really cool. I had one friend who my was my best, best friend, friend but her dog white. was racist against black men, and that made me feel away. but, yeah. Are y'all enjoying getting to know us today? I know we rambling. <laughs> this next is how we do. Be, we just go off on a tangent about we shit. We do. Typically, we're more... <laughs> We have more hidden points, but since it's about us for this subject, we just kind of letting y'all see talking how about we, everything. Yeah, we're talking about everything. Our thought process. <laughs> yep. So we closing up, girl. We about to sell them by. Yeah, I think we can close up. It's okay. been about forty eight minutes, so that's good. Black men, be good to your black queens, and black queens be good Please, to your black all kings. the time, y'all. If we come Love together, if we come together as a collective, nothing can stop us. We're unstoppable. We are the only people who can create different shades. You know and, what I'm saying? I'm not. I'm not. Point, even I don't know lie. why black people or colored people are the minority. It's more colored people in the world than it is white. So facts. And you know, I really, facts. I literally think. And I'm like just going to say this. I am not prejudiced because I can't be racist because it's a system. Yeah, it's system You can't be. Um, black people can't But be. I'm not prejudiced. You know, I'm the blackest child in my, uh, the blackest child in my family on my mama's side. And I'm not prejudiced. But no, I'm mixed with a bunch of different shit. I'm a mutt. So. Uh, don't fucking say that. Bitch, it's don't mulatto. Don't say that. You mulatto. I don't like okay. that shit. But I always pick the mutt out the litter. That I've been not called that my whole life. <laughs> you always said you another charm response. You want to fight so them? I embrace it. Yeah, let's fight let's them. Fight them. Best friend, you want to fight him? Yep. Oh, let's do it. All you bitches that wanted to fight me because I wasn't boy headed in elementary school. Listen, don't get Bitch, I got me. alopecia. Don't I don't know what the fuck. But, yeah, this so um, I'm just saying as a people, collectively, if we come together and we learn to to bond and, mm -hmm. and connect, 
No one can stop us. I r- literally had an epiphany sitting outside of MGM looking at people. I just people watch sometimes, you know what I'm saying? And every white person that came out was the exact same color. Mm. And then I, I, I no, I'm not even trying to be funny. And then I look, I was looking at the black people. They were all shades. Mm-hmm. They were all beautiful. shades. That's a beautiful thing. Beautiful. Like it's beautiful. It's like, one, you know two, what I'm three, saying? four, five people in the studio. Everybody a different shade of black. Everything, everybody. and it's, it's beautiful. beautiful. It's beautiful. It's we beautiful create so many shades of melanin that it is amazing. So let let let's bond together. Let's love each other. You know what I'm saying? I compliment black girls all the time. They be looking at me, me crazy. Like, I cannot believe me this bitch is complimenting me. All but, three of us love the bitch. But you know what I'm saying? It's another thing we all three got in common. Yes, man. But yes, let's bond together. Let's love each other. Let's let's take over the world because we got the power to do it. But y'all just we sleep. We run the world. Mm-hmm. We sleep. So thank you for tuning in thank to Honey so Bee much. Podcast. I'm your girl, Honey Foreign. You can follow me on Instagram at honey underscore foreign. This is your girl, Ari B. You can follow me on Instagram, underscore Ari B. That's Ari with two eyes. We want to thank you guys so much for tuning in with us. Again, we will be with you guys every Wednesday. On oh, Hank Nation. Hank Nation TV, period. Ow. Ow, ow. All right, and stay real. Don't be fake. Bye. Bye.